Okay, good morning. I'm just going to go through the stages of manufacture for an F1 car. The first stage <coughs> is working out the plan view of your car. So you take into consideration the wheel thicknesses here, the length. Um, once you've done that, you then go to the next stage, you extrude it to your height. And in this case, it's 20 millimeters. So you've got the wheel, 26 mil, so that's, that'll be a 30 mil slot there. The length of the car is around about 200. Um, then once you've done that, you move to the next stage, which is then machining or setting out the middle part of the car. So if you look there, you can see there's a curvature going right down the, to the very front of the car, down the center, central work plane. You draw a sketch, then you extrude that to a height, and in this case, to the height of about 44 millimeters. It depends on your design, but 44 will be was the standard one that I gave you. The next stage is then working out, and I'll just click on the front view there, the plane at which you're going to cut. So you can draw a line from there to there, set out that, um, and extrude it. Now I've shown you other tutorials on how to do it, but you cut that out. Once that's cut out, it'll look like that. So you can see now, if I manipulate the car around, you can see you've got that shape. Very simple indeed. That's taken 1 minute 28. Go to the next stage. Once that, that's done, you then <coughs> have a good look at the car. Um, go to the next stage. You can see now, um, there you go, what we've done here. I'm just gonna, you then insert the chamber, okay, from a set height. Move to the next stage. And the next stage, then you can see that we just trimmed off the front of that car. Okay, good. So that's going to be part of the, the front nose cone. Now the next stage is cutting out. Let me go from a front view here. So you can see, let's click on that again. A front view, you can see we're going to cut out this bit to, get, to give the front profile of the, um, the front nose cone of the car. So we cut out that section. Let's go back to view here, and you just extrude that and, and cut it out, cut out the shape. All right, excellent. Next stage, have a look, just turn the car around a little bit, if I click on that again. The next bit is cutting out a slot all the way through the car. So if I just grab hold of this a minute, you can visually see we're going to cut all the way through here. All right, excellent. So then go to the next stage that across and you can see that's been cut just down to that point brilliant okay so you can see the car is taking shape and it's the next stage let's have a look and see what that stage is there so the next stage then sketch number eight you can see we've selected this face here and filleted these two radius radius here okay to get the curvature on that front nose cone. I move over again. And again, you can see I've done the same to this face here. Right, so you've got your radius for the rear part of your um, car. Doesn't take long, that's 3 minutes 44. Okay? I'll do another video to go through this step by step, but this is a visual guide. You can see now this stage, we've rounded the edges. That's very simple. Radius the front nose cone here, we move on. We've now had to, let's have a look, trim out, trim the rear part of it. You can see where we've trimmed here. Okay, just pull that around. Rotate it again, good. Go to the next stage, click on the next stage. And you can now see the rear of the car. Let's have a look underneath. We decided to cut all the way out because that part that we put in before didn't quite work the way it want, what we wanted to. So we just machined the whole base out. Okay, good. Next bit, the rear aerofoil. Well, with the rear aerofoil, <coughs> you pick your central point here, right? That's clear. Just look from above, from the top. You can see by zooming in, it's clear of that wheel space here. <coughs> if it's clear of that wheel space, then you can go to the next stage and we extrude it and we extrude it 
just beyond the thickness of material. So I think it's around about 70 mil, right? The profile is roughly three millimeters here. You can even go to 1.5, but check the rulers on that. Um, and you just extrude it um, centrally on that plane. Right, the next comes the front aerofoil. You can see now, if you look underneath, you just make two profiles, extrude them, symmetrical about that work plane, and job done, and they come down. It's quite easy, that's 5 minutes 34. Right? Check the rules and regulations. Next one, we've now got to put that central um, aerofoil in there. Now that needs to be extruded to my set distance. And if you look from above, check the rules and regulations, if you look from a top view, you can see it's in line with the body, which is what you want. Because the next part, we're going to build the front part of the car here, right? But it's quite good actually, taking on a journey of how Charlie, uh, Charlie Axtell has built her car. Okay? Good. So there's my profile. Now we tested this shape on the CFD, Computational Fluid Dynamics um, app on our mobile phone, and you can test that on the program. I've shown a few students, but if you come to my sessions on scrutineering, you will see um, how that works. Now I've scrutineered on Formula One cars, WEC, and when I look at the cars when I'm when I'm inspecting them um, on the G on the uh, Bahrain International Circuit. I take a close look at the view of the profile. Uh, if it works for a, a real car, then it's going to work for your car, and it's good good research. What we need to do at the next year's GP is organise a visit, and you can have a close look at some of these uh, profiles. Anyway, that's um, something additional. So we then extrude that. But rather than make another one, we copy it about the centre, like that. And believe it or not, that's the car finished. Okay? That's it. That's all it is. Now, if you want, you know that we can change this, we can modify, we can modify that, we can add radiuses, we can change the profile here. We have to put the holes in for the wheel distances, but that's simple. Thank you for listening, and come and see me for any more tips. Thank you, Mr. Plunkett.